Hi everyone, I'm Mark. I'm the current SEO for RemoteStaff.ph. I was living in Quezon City, but now I'm in Caloocan. So I think it was Saturday when our president told the, the Philippine people that we will have community quarantine. So it's like the um, the tamed version of lockdown. But this uh, this place is like my second house. This is what I consider the, the fruit of my labors for the past uh, decade. Um, because in Quezon City, we are living in a slum or in Filipino, we call it the squatters area. I thought because we are a tropical country and viruses don't class in a, in a, a tropical country, I was like, this will pass. With all these things happening, how does it affect your daily life? Quezon City has the most cases within Metro Manila. That's right. I want to go back. I, I have no plans of going back if the case is there. Until it, it go back, go down to zero, I will not go back to uh, Quezon City. I thought uh, this uh, community quarantine will not affect me emotionally because um, my lifestyle is like I'm, I don't go out. So I thought yeah, it's okay, I will be fine. But when week three came up and and I'm realizing that every day is like you have to risk your your uh, if you will go out you can be infected or you can be you can get arrested because of doing that it's against the protocol I, I'm I'm a bit scared there are nights that I can't sleep I worry every day so that I think that would best explain my situation right now I I, I mean I am in inside a world community but with this pandemic we are all all equal in the sense that. Uh, this this is doesn't respect anyone. That's right. whether, whether you're you're poor, you're middle class, you're rich. If that comes to you and it's unexpected, we cannot see the enemy. Then you're done. Um, aside from the worry that my internet, because I'm using LTE now, um, in Quezon City I'm using fiber. I worry that sometimes the bandwidth would go out. Although for the past years I thought I have separate I have mastered separating my personal life and my work life. It's like if you have personal if I have personal personal issues I have to take that aside and just focus on my work. I thought I have mastered that. It's been ten years. Yeah. But then with this pandemic it's like you're working and sometimes you have to take a moment and I cannot help it. I'm thinking a, a lot of things. I'm thinking how can I pay this house if ever this pandemic will, will last for another six months or year? And it's it's affecting my work because yeah, there are times that I'm getting emotional um, about this these things that I thought I was exaggerating. People say that hey, you are lucky you're working from home, but I'm not safe from the I'm not safe from the effects of this of this pandemic. Aside from my my personal life, my my uh, career, I worry about my friends there in Quezon City. I, I worry that they, they might get infected also. I worry that I will never see them again. Um, my cousin's daughter died, not because of COVID, but because of a heart disease. But the most heartbreaking part is that I cannot do anything. Um, normally, if someone in my family, my, my friends have that problem or they had an accident, they have financial issues, sometimes I would, I, would go, I would go there, I would come to them and lend them a helping hand. But now, I cannot do anything. We have received um, relief goods twice. I think it was um, two kilograms of rice and, and some canned foods, I think sardines. The, the only thing we can we can expect is that I have savings. Um, remote stuff is there. I have I have a job. I have a salary. So, but if they will give us uh, give goods, that will be big help. Because yes, I have savings. But like I've said, it will continue for another month or six months. Yeah. It will just disappear. Um, what I've been. I've, I've been I've been doing what I've been doing to um, to handle the situation. Um, I I I also sent a picture me uh, driving a bicycle with a sidecar, which is practically my my niece 
um, sidecar. So we repurposed this because we don't have a car. Yeah, the, the good thing about uh, my my boss is it's like we are just friends talking about things, mm-hmm. and I like that. Uh, I like that that um, relationship because it's rare. Um, it takes uh, the anxiety away, and you know, in somehow it takes the anxiety away because uh, there's someone to talk to. Remote staff empowering remote working relationships.